And it's time for the tail of the tape with for these two great fighters in the blue corner from Buenos Aires, Argentina, fighting out of the Dojo Serpient Club. His coach is Christian Bosch. He's 21 years old, 1.65 meters tall. Right-handed, 19 victors, 17 victors, 15 by knockout. Thomas Shaco Aguirre. In the red corner from Sao Paulo, Brazil. CT Paulinho Tebar, top striker team, is his team. Alex Cardozo and Felipe Moraes are his coaches. He's 29 years old, 1.7 meters tall. He is a southpaw, 45 fights, 36 wins, 20 by knockout. Let us introduce Paulo Tebar. Orlando Rodriguez, one more time, the referee for the center referee. Both of these guys are absolutely fast and lightning speed. Ooh, Thomas Shako is ranked number five in this division. And Paulo Tibar, of course, is the current champion. Paulo Tibar hasn't fought since WGP 53 when he had a victory over Jordan Crenu. This is going to be an exciting fight. You can be sure that Shako is going to bring it to him. He is going to want this title more than you can imagine. Five rounds, folks, for a title bout. Let's see how they pace themselves. Paulo Tibar starting out with a quick little jab off the right hand. He's a southpaw, as we remember. He's got some great kicking skills, Paulo Tibar does. And the shackle is very fast as well, and he's got some very good boxing skills. That's a good knee from Paulo Tibar. He's got a good fast back leg roundhouse kick. And both of these guys really fighting, feeling each other out, both throwing a leg kick, both connecting with that leg kick. Jabs from Paulo Tibar. That was that back leg roundhouse kick. Good combination from Thomas Shako as he moves in fast and hard with those hands. Those kicks so far not phasing Thomas Shackle at all. Not one little bit of intimidation coming his way. That was a good knee from Paulo Tebar. Front kick just sneaking in under Thomas Shackle's guard. And so far, Paulo Tebar keeping out of the reach of Thomas Shackle. There goes a good combination. A couple of good shots from Thomas Shackle. Paulo Tibar brushes it off, but he has got to be careful. Those combinations are really good. And there goes a leg kick from Paulo Tibar. Catching Thomas Shackle right in the right buttock. Both fighters not moving around a lot, still just trying to find the distance, trying to conserve their energy a little bit, I suppose. And as we all know, to beat the champion, you have got to beat him clearly. Good combination from Paulo Tibar. Thomas Shackle is better known for his boxing skills, but we have seen Paulo Tibar here with some great, great hand movement. Fantastic. And there goes the end of the first round.
Round two. And we see Thomas Shackle starting out with a left, a right, and a right leg kick. Oh, and a good combination. Short punches from Bolotebar, but the Shackle is not messing. Moving back, and he has just thrown an excellent, excellent exchange. Very good boxing skills from this Argentinian. Was Thomas the Shackle pushing Paul Tibar back again. Oh, and a good leg kick from Shackle. Good combination there from Thomas Shackle. Oh, and there goes a good roundhouse kick, just sneaking in under Paul Tibar's guard. Oh, and it goes good knee from Paulo Tibar. Let's not forget, he is the champion for a reason. He is a very, very good fighter. Thomas Shackle is doing a fantastic job, but Paulo Tibar is a very good fighter. A couple of good body shots from Paulo Tibar, followed by a good left leg, or a good left rounders kick to the body. And we can see a good welt forming on the right side of Shackle's body. It's been hit a couple times with that good left leg roundhouse kick. Paulo Tebar looking very confident. Oh, and there goes a good exchange. One thing we know. Oh, and there goes a great couple of punches from the Shackle. And he has caught. Paulo Tebar off guard there and knocked him back a little bit. He was stunned for just a second. He's recouped. He's recovered. He's back into the fight. But that is what we were talking about earlier. Thomas Shackle has these fantastic boxing skills. And Paulo Tebar has got to be careful. Good leg kick from Thomas Shackle. Another good leg kick from Shackle. Roundhouse kick from Paulo Tibar. Countered with another roundhouse kick from. Oh, and there goes a good left jab from Paulo, followed by a great roundhouse kick. Oh, and there goes a knee. Now that was almost in there. Wow, do you see the speed on that knee? Amazing. Round two finished. That was a great round. Some great, great exchanges in that round. We'll be right back with round three just in a minute. Three. Good respect between these two young fighters. Oh, and Paulo Tibar explodes with a roundhouse kick. And followed by a good left off the front leg from Shaco. Great. These guys are so fast. Unbelievable, the speed of these guys. Their reflexes are just like a cat. And there goes Thomas Shaco G one more time, pushing Paulo Tibar back into the ropes. Oh, and a good, good couple of kicks from Paulo Tibar. And that was, wow, what a power off the back leg from Paulo Tibar. That caught Shackle right off guard. Just took advantage of what 
A little mistake from Shaco, and he came in with two roundhouse kicks to the body that were absolutely devastating off the back leg. Brutal, brutal. We can see the right side of Shaco's body, red from the kicking. And now we see Paulo Tebar picking it up a little bit. And there was a good left counter from Shaco. Oh, and there goes a slip from Thomas Shaco as he falls down and right back up. Absolutely very, very hard kicks from Paulo Tebar. Man, those are hard kicks. He has got some conditioned shins, I'll tell you. And now he is being more of the aggressor. Paulo Tibar is. He does not want to lose his title. He wants to remain the champion of this super lightweight division. And so far, he is in control as far as I can see. Oh, and a good back leg round us kick. So much power off that back leg. Not sure if Thomas Shackle is getting a little bit tired. He's not being quite as busy as he was in the first two rounds. Definitely not as active. And there goes a good combination from Paulo de Bars. He has Thomas Shackle back into the ropes and he's pounding away. Great exchange. Now they're back into the center of the ring. And a roundhouse kick from Tebar. Followed by good two. Counter two, three. Leg kicks from Thomas Shackle. Great job to both of these guys in this round. This is two warriors going at it. Ranked number five, Thomas Shackle is putting on a great show here. He's showing us he's here to fight. He wants this title. He's got two more rounds to try and pull it off. Let's see if he's got the stamina. Let's see if he's got the grit. Let's see if he wants it bad enough. Oh, and another good kick from Paulo Tibar. And there goes the bell for him. Two more rounds, folks. We'll be right back with round number four. by quickly. Round four. And Thomas Shackle starts out with a good, with a leg kick. Countered by a high kick from Paulo Tebar. Good front push kick from Tebar as he pushes Jackal back just a little bit. We see a little bit more energetic Thomas Shackle this round. Good couple of kicks, combinations, pushing Paulo Tibar back into the corner. Great combinations. There goes those punching power. That punching power from Thomas Shackle. Does he have Paulo Tibar in trouble? I don't know. I don't think so. But a great combination. Good body shots. Tibar's trying his knee, and again, a knee. And definitely a much better Thomas Shackle in this round. And there he goes again with those good combinations. Paulo Tibar just sort of standing there, letting him throw away, throw at will. Again, 
and Shaka with those good combinations. Throw, put his, pushing Paulo Tibar back into the ropes one more time. Tibar looks a little bit tired this fourth round. Definitely Thomas Shackle has come back with a new oh and there look at look at his arm. Thomas Shackle's right arm from those left roundhouse kicks from Paulo Tibar. Not just his body, but oh and there goes a good kick. Great combinations from Thomas Shackle. Look at that arm. Swole. Oh, and there he goes again, blocking it one more time. Tomorrow, that is going to be a very, very sore right side of his body. Paulo Tabar getting pushed back into the ropes quite a bit here in this fourth round. There goes again, another roundhouse kick. Those kicks are devastating from Tabar. And now Paulo Tibar is moving, coming back a little bit better than he was in the first part of this round. 12 seconds left in this fourth round of this five-round fight. Worth the title of the super lightweight division. And there we have the end of the fourth round. Be right back, folks, with the last and final round of this title bout in the super lightweight division. Round five, the last round of this super lightweight title bout. Here from live from Fortaleza, Sierra. And there goes a couple of good jab kicks from Thomas Shako. Again, folks, remember, very hard to beat the champion if you do not clearly win. We've got to see more movement from Shackle, he has done a great job, great job, but I don't think it's been enough so far. Let's see if he can do an upset in this, in this final round. Paulo Tibar staying close to those ropes, staying in the corner quite a bit. I'm not sure if that's his strategy or if he's tired. He's getting pushed back. Thomas Shackle again pounding away with those punches. Pretty much all defended by Paulo Tibar, and he just counters with a nice roundhouse kick to that right side of Thomas Shackle's body again. And a good leg kick from Shackle. And here he comes, setting up that those short jabs. To set, and there comes the knee, good knee, and we can tell that Thomas Shackle felt that. Every month, these guys are getting tougher and tougher, harder to beat. Good leg kick from Thomas Shackle. Paulo Tibar hanging in there. This oh, and there goes our roundhouse kick, an explosion off the back leg, beautiful kick, and that was sunk right in. That is one tough kid, that Thomas Shackle, able to stand a kick like that. Absolutely amazing. And now Paulo Tebar is taking over, doing a good job, fantastic, working the body, working the face. Scott Shackle back in the ropes, and there goes that knee again. That is devastating, that knee into the body. Absolute pain. There goes a knee to the face again. 
from Paulo Tibar, and now he has got, oh, and he's got Shackle in trouble, and he's going after him, he's going after him, he wants him, he wants to take him, he wants to knock him out in this five, fifth and final round, 30 seconds left, let's see if Thomas Shackle can hang on and stay in there with the champion. This has been a great round for Paulo Tibar, he has done a great job, he's almost, almost knocked Shackle down. 16 seconds, can he do it? Let's see. He wants, he wants it, he wants it. And that is just about it. We can see a cut, blood coming from Thomas Shackle's nose. He was beat up pretty good in this fifth and final round. And that's it. I will have to say that Paulo Tibar will continue being the super light champion, lightweight champion of the WGP. We'll be right back, folks, with the judges' official decision. What a great fight from these two young fighters. Thomas Shackle, not to take anything away from him. What a great fighter. 21 years old. He is going to be around for a long time. We'll be right back, folks. official decision the super lightweight 64 Paulo Tebar is the winner continues remains the super lightweight champion of the WGP kickboxing unanimous decision what a great fight both of these guys absolutely talented fantastic 142 pound fighter 64.5 kilograms 